Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Kobe, back here with some more Black Ops 2 for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Select Fire Attachment and the weapons that I personally like to use Select Fire on. So as you guys probably know, Select Fire is available as an attachment for both the Assault Rifles and SMGs. And all it does is change the fire characteristics of that weapon that is attached to, so it can turn a single shot or a burst fire to automatic, and a fully auto weapon into a burst fire. So there are two reasons why you'd want to use Select Fire. The first is to make a slow shooting weapon have a faster fire rate so you can shoot more bullets in a smaller amount of time. Or two, slow down the fire rate to make a weapon more accurate. Now there are some slight exceptions to this rule, but those two reasons that I stated are basically the reasons why you'd want to use the Select Fire attachment. Now just because Select Fire can change the fire attributes of a weapon, that doesn't necessarily mean it will make it better. Majority of it does come down to personal preference, but for most weapons, it's pretty obvious when Select Fire would not only be useless, but actually be counter effective. So I'm going to share with you guys some weapons that I personally like Select Fire on, and weapons that actually benefit from it. So. To start off, I want to talk about the SMGs. So like I said earlier, the SMGs do have the Select Fire Attachment as an option, but in my opinion, it is pretty much useless and will hurt you more than it will help you. SMGs are meant for close range encounters and throwing on Select Fire will only slow down the fire rate. However, there's obviously one SMG that is a little different, that is the Chicken, the first burst fire SMG that we've ever seen in a Call of Duty. And this gun wouldn't be a bad choice to use Select Fire on, but I don't think you really need it. The Chicken shoots pretty fast without it already, but again, it wouldn't be a terrible choice. But the Assault Rifles is where the Select Fire actually becomes a worthy attachment of using. There are two weapons that I find that work really well with Select Fire, and those are the ones I'm going to be quickly going over with you. But before I start, I want to make it clear that just because I say something can be effective, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to like using it, or even that I personally use it. Select Fire is a completely personal preference attachment, but what I'm going to be doing is sharing some weapons that can become more effective in certain ways by using Select Fire attachment, so I just hope that's clear. Now the first gun I want to talk about is the AN-94. You know, this gun actually is turning into one of my favorite assault rifles to use. I know a lot of people like this gun already, and for a good reason, it is really strong and has a lot of stopping power, and is just a beast in medium range gunfights. Now as good as this gun is, there is one thing that can get you killed when you are in a face to face one on one gunfight, and that's its rate of fire, and that's where select fire comes in. So usually select fire would make an automatic weapon go burst fire, then make it shoot slower, but with the AN-94, as I'm sure many of you know, the first two bullets actually fire faster than the ones that proceed them. Now with select fire on, with every squeeze of the trigger, it fires those two bullets. Now typically that would slow down the fire rate because it's still shooting two bullets at a time. However, with the AN-94, there is no burst delay, meaning if you are constantly pulling that trigger, unleashing two bullets over and over again, depending on your trigger finger, you can actually fire the weapon faster than if you're just shooting it automatically without select fire. Not only that, but because it is shooting in burst, the recoil is way lower than without it, even if you're shooting the weapon at the exact same speed. Now, some of the negatives, if you don't have a trigger finger, this obviously isn't the best attachment for you. Also, if you don't maybe have the best shot, having to pull the trigger constantly and aim at a target is definitely more difficult than just holding down the trigger and aiming. So that can become a problem too, but if neither of those negatives apply to you, then Select Fire could help you a lot in certain situations. Now, the second weapon that works really well with Select Fire, and what I think is probably the best gun in the game to use Select Fire on, is the SWAT 556. Now, like the A94, this weapon is really, really strong, and after the first patch, I believe this weapon's minimum damage was buffed enough to make it at the most a four shot kill at any range, which is obviously really, really good. However, also like the A94, it has a really slow fire rate. Not only because it's a burst weapon, but because of the burst delay. That time in between the bursts, it makes it terrible for close range and less than stellar for medium. You pretty much need to hit the first burst in a gunfight or you're pretty much dead, which is why Select Fire is so helpful on this weapon. With Select Fire, the fire rate goes up to something comparable to like the MTAR or the M27. However, like I said, those bullets are really, really strong. So with Select Fire, the SWAT probably turns into one of the most effective medium range guns in the game. Now, of course, there are some negatives, the biggest being the decrease in range and your accuracy when shooting long range but of course with select fire you can switch back at any time if you have to hit a couple bursts long range and i think that's a really awesome feature of this attachment you're not just stuck on one fire mode you can switch back and forth at will so what do you guys think about this attachment in general do you guys use it would you use it and if you do what weapons do you like to use it on and why i'd love to hear what you guys think also, if you guys want to leave some class recommendations for using Select Fire in the comments, I always encourage that, spread some knowledge around, help everyone out, and that would just be really cool. But there's the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you smacked that like button. Let's get this bad boy to like 300 likes and I can get out another video for you guys, which will most likely be covering the MSMC and the PDW, and some tips and classes on how to use it after they just got destroyed by the nerfs. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to hit that like button. You can also check out the last two class setups on screen now if you missed them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.